Hello first grade, today we're going to read the M&M's edition book. Look at the bag, it's where M&M's hide. Can you guess how many M&M's are inside? Guessing how many M&M's chocolate candies are in a bag is fun because there's no wrong answer. This is called estimating. To get an answer about the amount, pour out the candies and count, count, count. Counting the M&M's chocolate candies means giving each candy its own number name. This could take a while. There are usually about 50 M&M's in a small bag. Sort them by color. Call each group a set. Count each different color, but don't eat them yet. Sorting gets things organized. Sorting objects can be done in many ways. Here we are sorting M&M's by color. Just by looking at each color group, you can probably tell which color has the most M&M's. Count the M&M's in each set and write that number down. When you want to have more, add to get a sum. Combine two groups together, the total is yum. So the numbers you add are called add-ins. So they have five green and four blue. There are five green and four blue M&M's. When you put the two colors together, then count them. There will be nine M&M's. The total is called the sum. Let's write an equation, then turn it around. The numbers aren't dizzy, and the sum is still found. An equation is a number sentence. The equation you just did looks like this. Five plus four equals nine. You know that this is a plus sign and that's the equal sign. The plus sign means add. It goes between two numbers you want to add. The numbers on each side of the equal sign must have the same value. So equations can be reversed like this. Look at this equation. Doesn't it look rather tall? Addition can be vertical. It's no trouble at all. You can also write the numbers one on top of the other like this. So you put your add-ins right there. You have your plus sign, this line is the equal sign, and the sum on the bottom. No matter how you do it, the answer is definitely 9. All numbers have value, a fact we must face. See them in columns, put them in their place. The numbers 0 through 9 are called digits. Bigger numbers from 10 to 99 use two digits. One digit in the 1's column and one digit in the 10's column. So we learned that this is the ones column, this is the tens column. Add the yellow and blue m and and you will get a two digit number. So let's look over here, they want seven plus four. Let's count all those m and together, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we'll write an eleven in there. You see that in the tens column, the 1 has a value of 10, or 110, and here in the 1's column, the 1 has a value of 1, or 1-1. One, one. Red plus green, yellow plus green, and orange plus blue. Let's practice adding. Each sum will be new. So you can get out a piece of paper and try this with me if you'd like. We're going to start with 11 plus 5. So we have the 1 on the top plus the 5 on the bottom. So 5 plus 1 more is 6. So we're going to put a 6 right there. And then the 1 doesn't have anything underneath, so it goes right there. Let's see if we were right. Yep. Now you can try these ones. We have 7 plus 5 more. So let's start at 7 and we'll count on 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's see. Did we get the right answer? Yep. And then 10 plus four more. So let's start at 10, count four blue. Ready? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's see if we got the right answer. We did. Adding two digit numbers will mean even more. Bigger and bigger the numbers will soar. Watch what happens when we add the orange and red M&Ms together. Hmm, so we have 11 plus 10. 
It's going to tell us how to do it right over here. When you add double digit numbers, it's easier to add vertically. So we put them on top of each other. First, add the digits in the ones column. So right here, we're going to add one plus zero, and that's one, easy. Then add the digits in the tens column. One plus one is two, easy. So two tens and one one is 21. There are 21 M&Ms total. Now you can write this on your piece of paper and let's see if you can get these ones. Orange plus brown, red plus blue, write it down. We have 10 plus 13. First we do the ones column. Zero plus three is three. Then we do the tens column. One plus one is two. So I got 23, let's see if we're right. Then we have 11 plus four. So let's look at the ones column. One plus four is five. Then look at the tens and it's just one. So 11 plus four is 15, let's see. We got it. Add the sums red and blue plus orange and brown. So we're taking these two and we're gonna add these together. This is our challenge problem, see if you can get it. So we're gonna look at five plus three first. So five, six, seven, eight. Let's look at the tens column. One plus two, so two plus one more is three. So I think the answer is 38. Let's see if you got if we got the challenge. And we did. Great job, first grade. The end.